here and welcome back to Benidorm and Beyond, my original Benidorm channel since 2020. Brought to you by me, an English woman who's lived right here in the resort for well over 20 years and whose aim is to bring you fun, interesting and informative vlogs about your favourite tourist city. So please come along and join me on my regular adventures and subscribe to the channel so you never miss out on any of my brand new content. Today's vlog takes you on a walk along Avenida de Mallorca, or the square, by night, with all the footage that you will see filmed on Friday, March the 22nd, yes, just last night, at about 8.15pm, which is of course long before this area really gets going, and this, combined with the fact that Cheltenham Week and Paddy's Day are now long behind us, and we have entered the traditionally quieter fortnight of Easter, means that the square isn't as bouncing as usual, but I hope that you agree that it's still worth a stroll through the neon lights, music and party atmosphere, and that there's still plenty to see on our way down to the bottom, when the square meets the busy main road of the Avenida del Mediterraneo. We started at the day night bar where some female revellers were heading downtown in full fun fancy dress and this food and drinks venue opens from 10 in the morning right through until 3 in the wee hours with a street facing takeaway kiosk also available for those who want to order on the go. Next along we see the old birdcage cabaret club and the space where the original Sinatra's fun pub and cabaret venue used to be, both of which were due full rebuilds and transformations into great new venues and both of which have yet failed to materialise for varying reasons. Continuing on, on our right hand side we see that the three star superior Hotel Orange has reopened which is part of the popular Serby group chain who in particular catered to the tastes of British and Irish customers especially in their buffet restaurants and this hotel is ideally situated for those wishing to be right in the heart of the nightlife action with it staying open until just after the November fiestas when it then shuts its doors again on the 18th. As we walk, we also see the illuminated rainbow balconies of the Hotel Gold Arcos in the distance, where some of you may have seen on social media that there was a small fire on Thursday afternoon due to a problem with an air conditioning compressor. But luckily, no one was hurt, although two tourists were treated for mild poisoning due to smoke inhalation. Moving further down, we then come to the funky bar of Camden Town, with lots of PR guys, or props from the square, vying to get passing holiday makers to come into their bars. And then we come to Kay Lepanto, where after me waiting patiently for a while and lots of taxi taking advantage and zooming over the zebra crossing even though I was waiting to walk across, I finally managed to nip over to the other side in front of a somewhat impatient motorcyclist. Now on what is the main section of the square, we see Champions Nightclub to our left, with their mechanical bull in the corner spinning round, but empty seated on this particular occasion. On the right hand side we see the iconic nightclub venue of Café Benidorm, or Café B as it's usually referred to, which hosts some of the resort's top musical performers nightly and where many of us always seem to end up at the end of the evening for a cheesy boogie on the dance floor, whether we'd planned to or not. Next door is the pit stop El Chippy fast food takeaway, which competes with the famous Chippy Benidorm kiosk sitting directly opposite. We then see the almost empty outdoor terrace of the Hippodrome, but remember they do have a large dance floor inside, plus it was very early on in the evening. And then swinging back to our right hand side once more, we see the completely revamped Bahamas nightclub, which now purports to be a disco pub and a karaoke club, and looks very impressive indeed with its flashing lights and brand new exterior terrace. Carrying on, we pass the Square Benidorm Disco, followed by the eyesore that is the long abandoned mini golf course, whereas on the other side of the square, the Beachcomber Club has completely disappeared behind a concrete wall, although when I passed earlier in the week, I could still hear work going on inside, so watch my building work and bar revamp update vlogs in the future to see what's going on. If you'd like to support my channel and future vlogs by making a small donation, you can now buy me a coffee, or even two or three. Just click on the down arrow next to the vlog title, which brings you to the description of this video. Then follow the link provided at the bottom. It's really that simple. Thank you so much. We then skip down to the railway bar on the corner, which always seems to be busy and which to me is no surprise as it really is a fantastically lit and up-to-date modern venue to spend some time in. And then after crossing Cay Girona, or the Strip, we come onto the final section of the square where we see the old school cabaret club of the Zodiac Show Bar tempting holiday makers in with its musical acts and hypnotist. Passing a closed dental clinic, we then walk by Chaplin's, which offers a variety of more adult shows later on in the night in all sorts of guises to make your eyes water. 
Whilst on the other side, we pass two back-to-back -back mini marts and the Cool Edge Bar before reaching our final destination of the Silver City Sports Bar, who have a great variety of drinks deals inside, along with large screens for showing all the live matches and a pool table too. This brings us to the busy thoroughfare of the Avenida del Mediterraneo, just one street away from the beautiful Levante beachfront, and it's here that we finish today's vlog. I hope that you've enjoyed watching this nighttime wander through the square with me today, and if you have, then please join me again in the future, as well as checking out some of my hundreds of other videos full of news and updates, more detailed street and beachfront walks, as well as reviews and tours on lots of local hotels, cafes, bars and new businesses. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you out and about next time. Maybe videoing along the summer Benidorm streets or enjoying a nighttime beer or cocktail, who knows. Bye for now, take care and catch you again next time. Cheers! No quiere parar.